the hit TV show, The Last of Us, is on all of our minds. Here are some facts versus fiction uh, among the storyline. The TV series centers around one type of fungus, which is called cordyceps. Uh, this is not made up. This is a real fungus uh, in our world. Um, but it is only a threat to one specific type of ants called carpenter ants. So no, we humans do not need to worry about coming uh, in contact with this fungus and turning into zombies. There are other fungi that have the potential to wreak, wreak havoc uh, in humans, including death. In fact, a lot of scientists have deemed fungal infections the silent crisis because we don't really pay it enough attention to them. Um, I think the latest statistic I saw was fungal infections lead to about 1.5, 1.7 million deaths per year which is actually more than malaria. Um, and in the United States in particular, there's usually about 75,000 hospitalizations every year due to fungal infections. Um, and the most serious of these hospitalized cases is when the fungus infiltrates the bloodstream or critical organs like the lungs or the liver. Fungus do live in food supplies. Uh, for example, in wheat, in which the the, the story is um, really centered around and us humans can get infected by eating those wheat products. But again, this type of fungus, we're not going to turn into zombies if we eat the, the, the wheat that um, it, it's on. Selfishly, I think it's really important that we recognize that fiction like Last of Us is a great avenue for scientific translation and scientific knowledge. I think that um, this is a great way for people to understand fungal infections, as long as we can hamper down the fears and enjoy it as fiction. But there are a lot of threads and stories um, and scientific evidence being brought through the show and the video game, which I think uh, can be used and leveraged as an education uh, lesson. And that's why I've really had a lot of fun following this show um, and trying to help people understand how to separate the facts from fiction.